Good evening and welcome to Estuary TV News with me, James Dunn. On tonight's show, the Lincolnshire Society putting the etiquette back into dancing. It's about in the centre trying to recreate the past and, and the manners and, uh, and the way people sort of behaved in that, in that time. And the great doggy Nitoff is keeping elderly and short-haired rescue dogs warm this winter. Um, more recently we've had the lovely sort of rainbow coloured coat which would be a perfect um, Staffordshire Bull Terrier type size. And finally the Mayor of North East Lincolnshire joins me on the sofa to talk about how a special event will help you find the hidden treasure in your home. First here's Emma Lingard with the news headlines. <laughs> Hello, the headlines today. A new support centre for the energy industry is opened in Hull. Help is needed to knit garments for rescue dogs and look out for here comes Mr Darcy. But first, a teenager who stabbed his grandmother to death and seriously injured his grandfather at their home in Hull has been found guilty of murder. Lewis Dale, aged 17, attacked his grandparents at their home with a kitchen knife in April last year. He claimed he was suffering a drug-induced psychotic episode. A jury at Hull Crown Court found Dale guilty of murder and attempted murder. He'll be sentenced at a later date. A centre to support the oil, gas and marine industries has been launched in Hull. CLS Offshore has invested around £350,000 in new offices with plans to add a fabrication workshop. The new site has helped strengthen the company's position on the East Coast through the addition of support to the wind farm industry. We have had a fantastic response um, from a multitude of school-based people, not through advertising but purely because of the, the press that we've had in the last two months about opening up. Phenomenal. And to give you some scope, uh, probably about six, 700 people have applied for jobs that we've not actually advertised at all at the moment. So brilliant. And, and so the quality is very, very high. Uh, and, and the feedback from businesses locally is saying it's good for the area. Uh, good for the infrastructure and, and it's bringing some life back into kind of what was sort of um, suffering a little bit. The Football Association has heard a plea from Hull City's independent supporters on the club's proposed name change to Hull Tigers by its owner Dr Sam Allen. The City Tilby Dye Group presented their case to keep the name which has been in use for 110 years. They now await to hear the FA's decision on the matter. My husband's life after his family was Hull City. Players come and go, managers come and go, chairman come and go. But the club belongs to the supporters. And can you help this dog rescue centre? They're in need of knitted garments for the many elderly and short-coated dogs in their care. The great doggy knit-off has been launched by the Jerry Green Dog Rescue Sanctuary, which has centres across Lincolnshire, Yorkshire and Nottinghamshire. With the weather being cold, they're in need of knitters. Us as humans feel the cold and also the dogs do as well, particularly dogs with shorter coats um, who are always in need of warm, snuggly blankets, uh, coats and snoods etc whilst it's, we're sort of in a cold spell. Two primary schools in East Yorkshire have been rated good by Ofsted inspectors. Bempton, which was last visited in 2009, has made the grade by raising the bar since the last inspection. And Thorg and Bold had also made improvements since they were deemed to be satisfactory. The good work being carried out at Grimsby Hospital was looked at by the Chief Executive of the Royal College of Nursing. Dr Peter Carter talked to the nursing team and patients during his tour of the facilities, including the Emergency Care Centre. Poet Ian McMillan brought laughter to people at the Applegarth Day Centre in a poetry workshop. The visit was used to share ideas and creativity while having fun. By the end of the session, the group had written a poem together. And if you're looking for Mr Darcy, look no further than the Regency dancing classes. All the rage with fans of Jane Austen, dancers travel from across East Yorkshire and Lincolnshire to learn the dances of the Regency period, with some even making their own costumes. 
we've extended the uh, the time that we meet by an extra half an hour because everybody because they're not seeing each other for a month they just get together and and talk so much that I can't get the word in edgeway so I can't start the class so yeah it is a social big social thing and the festival that's coming up in um, May is again a big social it's just just a nice thing to do something different and I know where I'll be next weekend that's all from me goodbye <laughs>
us as humans feel the cold and also the dogs do as well particularly dogs with shorter coats um, who are always in need of warm snuggly blankets uh, coats and snoods etc whilst it's we're sort of in a cold spell Greyhound Cassie has been at the centre for over a year and is looking for a good home. It's short-haired breeds like this one that are thought to be most in need. From something as simple as a blanket to a knitted coat with buttons, donations have been coming in. People are obviously realising that we're catering for dogs of all sizes. So um, more recently we've had the lovely sort of rainbow coloured coat which would be a perfect um, Staffordshire Bull Terrier type size. We've also had some really cute little miniature coats through as well. They say free knitting patterns are available if needed and that people can drop off their goods at any Jerry Green Rescue Centre branch to help dogs feel snuggly and warm while they wait for a loving home. Erica Barker, Estuary TV. Now we've got our guest, Councillor Peggy Elliott, Mayor of North East Lincolnshire, to talk about a new way to raise money for her mayoral charities. Everyone can get involved and you might find it worth your while at the end of it. So, welcome today, Peggy. Thank you very much. First yes. of all, tell me, um, I mean, every every year the mayor picks a number of charities that yes. they want to raise money for and it's it's part of the job of the mayor now isn't it it is and yes. i understand that some mayors uh, have a bit of a rivalry yes they do <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, your charities which which are your charities this my charities are, are the uh, st andrews children's hospice the hydrotherapy pool humpson hydrotherapy pool and women's aid how is the fundraising going so far very good Yes, yes, we've had quite a few events, well attended, I'm very pleased to say, and uh, we're doing very well. And what sort of targets have, have mayors hit in the past? Um, I believe sort of uh, 11, 12, we have had a higher. Of course, mm. we are at a time when the economy is not t uh, as strong and people don't have the kind of money they used to have, spare money, but nevertheless, I, people in North East Lincolnshire are the most generous I've mm. ever known and we are doing well. And you are uh, looking for increasingly different ways to, to raise a little yes, bit of money and make them part yes, with their cash, aren't you? I mean, yeah. there was one particularly that's coming up and you've brought this poster here, yes. which is a Antiques Evaluation Day. Yes, yes. And that's going to be held at Grimsby Minster. It is. Tell me a little bit about what's involved yeah. there. Um, we, we wanted to do something different and uh, the Minster kindly allowed us to use their main uh, hall and um, we just thought how nice it would be to have an evaluation day um, and one that is very uh, economical for people. So people can bring their own stuff from their there homes? Is there is no charge to enter at all so uh, anybody wanting to just come along and have a nice day can. There, are, there is stalls there, um, cr different craft stalls, so there is something to look round and take your attention. Um, the coffee shop will be open, uh, and of course if you've got anything that um, has come out the attic that you yep. think might be worth some money, any Rembrandts up there, then bring them along. It's a pound per item to you've, be valued. You've got John Horner there. John Horner. Course, and he's a guy lo known yes, locally who knows yes, his stuff, doesn't he? He does from Gainsborough, yes. Very well uh, established and respected. Yeah. And later that evening, of course, you've got this um, classic 1940s Absolutely. dance. We're making a full day of it. So on to the... Uh, on to, can I just say the times to that one? Yes. We open at 11. Yep. Yeah. And close at four. And, and what time the is the day. is the 1940s dance? Seven till late, I would think till. And that's going to be West, Westwood Ho. Westwood Ho Barracks, yes, the TA Barracks there. Um, and tickets for that are. Are ten pound each. Uh, you get pie and peas for that. We've got uh, Les Spring All. Um, I'm afraid we're going to have to cut oh, you off there, thanks. Peggy. That's all we've got time for today. Don't forget that if you know of any local stories or issues, get in touch by phone on Grimsby 315561, on Facebook or Twitter at Estuary TV, or email us on news at estuary.tv. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.